Okay, here's the second part. It says uh, notes 1B. It's still for worksheet A. We're still doing reflections, but now it's going to be across the y-axis. This is the line that we're going to be doing the reflection along the y-axis. The y-axis is this one. So you got to be careful. Sometimes the problems are going to ask you to reflect along the x-axis, which we did on the first video. But now we're doing pretty much the same thing along the we're reflecting points or we're reflecting uh, different shapes, but along this axis. Now the y-axis is this way, which means that now you're reflecting it this way. So kind of, again, think like if you're folding the paper and if there's something on this side, any, any, any point or image on this side, when you reflect it on the y-axis, well, now you're folding it this way. Now it's going to be on this side this way. Or if you have a point on this side, it's going to be reflected and it'll come out on this other side. So now we're going this way, left, right. X-axis, we were doing this number. That was in the first video. So here's your point, point G right there. Remember, that's the pre-image. Point G is there. And all you got to go is how many times, it, how many spaces or does it take to get to that? Remember, this is the mirror line or the reflection line. All right, this is reflections. So if it's one this way, you go one, exactly one the other way. And it'll be here, and this will be the image. Remember, the image has the prime. So that's how I know this is the one I started with, and it got reflected over. Now it's on that side, and that's where it would be. Okay, that's a single point. What if I have a point over here? This one's point A right there and I'm reflecting in along the y-axis so well again I'm gonna go and see one two three it's three units to that line so I gotta go the same distance the other way one two three now it's gonna be here that's reflecting along the y-axis right it's like folding over so if it's on this side it'll be here if there was a point that was here then you'd reflect it it would be on this side Okay. All right. Let's look at this one here. What if you have a, a shape here? And again, this one, we're just focused on reflecting along the y-axis, which is this one here, right? Well, if something is on this side and you're going to reflect it along the y-axis, right? Think about it. it's going gonna to kind of fold. What it's going to be on this side, it's not going to it's not going to keep this orientation. It's going to change a bit. So again, like we did with the first video, you just do each of the each of these vertices, each of these capital letters. So I'm going to go B is one, two, three. So I'm going to go the same thing. One, two, three. Here's this point reflected on this side. That's B prime. And then A is what one this way. So one this way. There it is. It's A. And C would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So notice that when you reflect it on this side, it's not going to look like this. It's not going to keep this same orientation. Notice that it's going to look like this now. You see? It's not like pointing this way. See, now when you reflect it over, there was some paint here, and I go like this. See, now it's going to look like this on this side. So I'm going to shade in like I did in the first video. This is the one we started. This was the pre-image. Just kind of like think of like preschool, right? Before you started school, you went to preschool. So this is the pre-image. This is the image, right? This is what it looks like when I fold it over. See, it'll look like that. And if you actually look at your hands, well, if you look at your hands, you go like this, and I flip it over. Oh, you guys can't see that. Even your hands are. You know, look at your hands. See, they're reflections of each other. If I, along the way, if I fold this over, look. See that? You don't have two right hands. You don't have one like this and one like this. It doesn't, it doesn't keep the same orientation. If I flip it over, see? It 
and it'll be like that. And that's what's happening here. Ooh. Okay. Let's do another one. Easy peasy stuff. Good, good, good. Again, I'm going to make sure that I highlight this or I put something with, so I know. Sometimes it's going to say x-axis. Sometimes it's going to be y-axis. Y-axis is this way. All right. What if I have a point here or a point on the other side? If it's a point right on the line, you don't have to change it. It's just going to stay there. If it's a point on this side, if you had a point here and a point here, this point, any point on this side will be ref reflected on this other side. Any point on this right side is going to be on that side. So this G is going to go what? Two this way. This is two, so I got to count two. Two to the reflection line and two to the other way. This one is right on there, so it doesn't go anywhere. This one is what? One, two, three, four, five. So you go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, right there. And like I said, that one stays there. And so this would look like this. You think that's what it would look like if I get this and I fold it over and I copy it over like this? Oh, some of you can see it. Look, see? You see it right there? That's right. See, it's a reflection. I know some of you think of it like symmetry. It's similar to that. It's like symmetry. Okay, and this one is G, so this one's G prime. This one is H. Oh, that's also H prime. This one is F. This is F prime. I'm going to shade the image. Right, this is the reflection. Okay, that's what we're doing, reflections. Okay, the last thing, again, similar to the first video, they're going to ask you for coordinates now. What do they ask you for the coordinates? Here's the point here. Here's the point here. Am I reflected and on the x-axis? No, it says what? Y-axis. Right, so be careful because sometimes it'll say x. If it's x, I'm going this way. I'm folding this way. If it's y... It's this way, left to right, or, le or right to left. So here's point D. I'm going to reflect it along the y-axis, so I have to just count to that line. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. While I know where it is, I can do that, and I can reflect it, and then I can find out the coordinates, right? This is x, uh, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. The, oh, this is b prime. This is x, negative 5. And y is, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's negative 4, right? But honestly, we could have done this without even having a graph, right? Because what did we understand? We did this with the x-axis. This one is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one is 5. And one, two, three, four, five, and negative four. Now look, there's something that you're gonna have to recognize. We saw it, we saw it on video one for the x-axis. If this is the one I started with, which one didn't change? Notice that since I'm changing this way, the y, this y, I'm reflecting, the y didn't change, the y coordinate didn't change, see? It stayed here, any point here is y negative four. So when you're reflecting along the y-axis, the y the y coordinate doesn't change. See, it didn't change. It was negative 4, it was negative 4. Which one's going to change in sign? That one. See, this one was positive 5, but when you reflect it over the same amount, does it make sense that it's negative 5? Yes. So the axis that you're reflecting, right, this is the x-coordinate, this is the y-coordinate. Since I'm reflecting along the y-axis, the y-coordinate wouldn't change. Only the other one, the x-coordinate. Or you can just simply graph it and find the coordinates. Okay, same thing for a, for a triangle or any other shape. Oh, why does this one say x-axis? Uh, it should say y-axis. Oh, well, we're going to have to do x-axis change the game right here x-axis x-axis is not up and down x-axis is this one. Oh, we practiced that already oh well i should have picked one that said y-axis huh oh well um so i'm gonna go one two three one two three one 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 two three four one two three four Okay, now we're reflecting the reflection is along the x-axis. See, so watch out. 
but they want the coordinates. They want the coordinates of x prime, they want the coordinates of y prime, and they want the coordinates of w prime. Well, I could have got this without even doing all this work. Let's see. If I know these coordinates, what's x? 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. x is 2, uh, two and 1, 2, 3. x is 2 and 3. Uh, y is 1, 2, 3, and 1. And W, I put W up here, right? W, X, Y. W is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 5, 4. Now remember, if I'm now reflecting along the X axis, which is now it's like you're folding this way, that means that the x coordinates are not going to change. See, this is still x equals 2. This is still x equals whatever, 1, 2, x equals 3. This is, see, the x coordinate is not going to change. So I already know, I already know what w prime is going to be. w prime, the x is not going to change. So that's still, where's w? And see, it's still 5. But this one. If this W is 4 right here, then the image will be the opposite, negative 4. And if I know my X prime, if my X is 2, 3, and I'm, refl I'm reflecting along the X axis, the X doesn't change. That means the Y changes from a positive 3 to a negative 3. And that's going to be true here. Look, X, positive 2, 1, 2, 3, negative 3. And the same thing is true for y. If y is 3, 1, but I'm reflecting along the x, the x doesn't change. So the 3 stays at 3, and this y, instead of, this y is a 1, so over here it'll be negative 1. Or again, you can just draw it and, and then figure it out, but this is, this is what's good. you're going to see that's going to be true. All right, good luck with that. There it is.